Hey everybody, welcome back to a kind of a different video on this CSGO channel and one of the videos where we actually find out more about the game of CSGO. Obviously, kind of an obvious one with the thumbnail being what happens after 999 items in the game of CSGO. I'm going to answer your questions very fast, hopefully a short video for all of you, with the first of which there actually is an item cap in the game of CSGO. For all you people out there who thought you can go over 1,000 items, you actually cannot, at least in some ways. The item cap is at 1,000 items in your Steam inventory, so I'll show you guys screenshots. That screenshot does include default items so when you actually try this out for yourself if you guys ever want to you have to make sure it's going off your steam inventory count that's the actual counter for how many items you have because even if you toggle off default items you're still gonna have four or five items here and there that do stand out I know for me the R8 revolver the M4A1S as well as the trade-up contract so on and so forth a total of five items even when I hid the default items still stood in my inventory so when I thought I was at a thousand items I actually was at 995 and that's why some of these clips in the video t show me at 1,005 items, but the item cap is actually at 1,000 Steam Inventory official items, and you cannot go beyond that. Once you guys actually reach 1,000 items, it's kind of cool. You can't buy any more items. That's off the actual community market as well as the homepage. I tried to buy a key, and you can actually not trade anymore past 1,000 items either. So to go show you guys what happened when I reached 1,000 items and I could no longer trade, here's what happened though when I reached 1,000 items and I tried to buy a key off the homepage. <laughs> Everyone's saying, try it. Everyone's like, try one more key. Try, try one more key. Okay, we'll go. Yes! Yes! Yes, motherfucker! So yeah, obviously I did. Pre I really did freak out. Thanks to all of you guys, we actually did break 300 viewers to try and break this challenge. That is what happened. I was going for that pop up because a the theory, which I'll show you guys on screen, did show the actual cap to be 1,000 items, and you also cannot trade. So those are the theories I was going off. And again, thank you to all of you who traded me items for that. Now, quickly before I go on to finish this video and show you guys some more theories we did break, I will be doing a giveaway for all these items. Besides one person, Horizon actually traded me like 220 sand dunes he did want those back so thank you for those items so I will be giving away like 780 items they're not expensive items but that giveaway will be down below I'll be choosing probably 50 winners for that I want to get all these items out of my inventory it was a big mistake taking them in but it was well worth it now moving on as well another cool thing once you reach a thousand items no matter how many trade offers you had open I actually had 74 active trade offers at the point before I reached a thousand items the minute you receive or the second you receive that 1,000th item all of those trades become unavailable and you cannot accept any trades after that. Steam will also go through and make all of your trades unavailable. Because you have no more space in your inventory, Steam will actually cancel and make all your trades unavailable once you reach your 1000 cap. Now there is one rule breaker here that I know of as of right now. You can actually make listings. You can actually put your items on the market as many as you want. You can list a thousand items on the market or 1500 items on the market. Well, like, it would take some time. But let's say for instance, you can post a hundred uh, items on the market and then later on you can actually trade for those hundred items back. So you get back to your thousand items and then you can go to the market and cancel all your posted listings. And then that is how you can actually go past 1000 items in the game of CSGO. We're going to now try and take items off the market, which have already had on there and try and go above a thousand items that way this is one of the last theories I actually have about this so let's try and go to CSGO items that I posted a long time ago uh, for example I have a simple sticker we'll remove this listing it should go back into our inventory just like that and now we should be at 999 uh, items so and we'll try and remove another one okay so we removed two listings right there and we got two items back and just like that we have now broken the thousand items. So that's how you do it. That's how you can actually break it. If you really have a goal out there to have your inventory lag all the time and you want to break the thousand inventory limit, that is how you do it right there. As you guys can see, you post all your listings or all your skins on the market and what you can do is then actually um, cancel those offers later but accept trades while you can and once you're up to a thousand items, you can then take all your items off the market and you'll then begin, right as you guys can see on screen, you'll be over a thousand skins that way. So I just... As of right now, the only theory I could not prove is if you get, can actually get in-game drops while at a thousand items. The current theory stands as this. If you have a thousand items, you cannot even get any in-game drops. They just never will pop up. I didn't test that theory, but as of right now, you can get it past 1,000 items. The only way I know about as of right now is to make market listings, trade back, or you know, buy more items up to 1,000 items, and then cancel all your market listings, and that's one way to go past 1,000 items in the game of CSGO. No! Please, Valve! Please! God dang it.
I hate when I have max items. I hate if you guys did enjoy this video and like this type of video on my channel, please leave a like down below. It's very important to me. And more importantly, though, even though than that, is actually leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think what about the theories. What theories do you guys want me to test next? I had such a fun time live streaming this. We broke 200, then 300 viewers so fast because all of you were so interested in that. That full live stream will be linked down below. It's an unlisted video. It's about an hour and 10 minute live stream if you guys want to watch the full thing that happened. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you guys all enjoy. If you guys enjoy CSGO content, feel Feel free to subscribe. If you guys don't, that's okay. Live, love, laugh a lot. Remember, my name is Jake. Remember, I like you. I will see you guys all tomorrow with more CS Gun News. Remember, I like you, and uh, goodbye.